Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and my name is Sarabjit Kaur. I am a computer teacher by profession. In my today's video, I am going to explain you the second type of user defined function. In my previous video, I have already explained you the first type. If you have not watched that video, I will link that videos in the i button. And if you are liking my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel also. So in this video, uh, we are going to talk about void function int. In this type of function, this uh, section, the argument section is filled with the data type that is written by int and the return section is already void. It means we will not return any value to the main function, but we will take the values from the main function. Okay. Hum main program se values lenge, mangoayenge, par hum main ko kuch bhi bhejenge nahi. So it means this type of function takes the arguments from the user or you can say from the main but it does not return any value to the main. So for explaining this type I am going to create a program of addition of two numbers. So addition of two numbers ke liye you will create a function add and you will take these two values from the user. You imagine that int a and int b. In these two variables, there are some, there will be some values that you will receive from the main function while calling this function. When you call this function, you will receive some value from the main and that values are going to be stored in A and B. Okay. And the value that we will receive, we will add that values and we will print the addition and this way we will create a functions body. And now I'm going to create int main. In int main, I have taken a and b and these a and b values are going to be entered by the user. And when I call the function body, I will write down a and b. a and b, these are the variables that the, the value of these variables we take from the user. And when we call this function, then compiler will go to upward and compiler will store the value of a and b in these a and b and this function will calculate the addition of these two numbers that compiler will receive and uh, this function will calculate the answer uh, as a plus b is the formula written inside this body. After calling the function we will close the main program. And when compiler will execute this function body, then compiler will again go back to the main and check that whether there are some more statements to execute or not. So this way we can create any program with the help of a function type void function in. Here is the second program. In this program, I have created subtraction of two number. Okay. But in this program, I have created main function before the functions body. I have created function body at the last and I have created function main function before the function body. This way also you can create your program but in this case you have to write down the function prototype. This prototype will tell the compiler that you have created one more body after the main. Okay, so in this type of if you are following this method then you have to write down the prototype. And in this program also I have taken a and b variable in the in inside int main and I have taken the value of a and b from the user and I am, I am calling the function sub a comma b inside the main. When compiler will read this calling statement then compiler will go downward. Now compiler will go downward because we have created function body after the main. So here a and b variable will receive new values from the calling and then this function will calculate the subtraction of these two numbers and it will print the answer. After executing this body compiler will go back to the main and check whether there are some more statements or not and after that this program will be terminated by the compiler. So I think this program is clear to you. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about the third type of user defined function and uh, we are going to learn about the third type. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.